Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more Fighter Subscriber. And things have been hotting up recently as we enter the home straight. Last week, we learned the name of the first craft that will definitely be joining us in our finals this season. And uh, by the end of today, fingers crossed, barring any kind of tie break, we will know the name of the second. Without wasting any further time then, let's go and meet today's craft. A few weeks ago, we met the legend of craft naming, which is the Grippin or something, I don't know. And I said that one of the other craft we'll be seeing this round will actually top that. So may I present to you this, the I'm not good at naming V2 final by Kerbally Kerbal. It's a reasonably conventional, almost delta wing kind of craft in that the, the back of the main wing section is pretty much level with the tailplane and uh, also has some canards to give it a little bit of extra turning power. Its power by a single Saturn engine is armed with uh, eight Sidewinder missiles for going any radar capabilities and also a pair of Vulcan cannons. Test flight time and the huge wing area on this craft means that neither turning nor stability is an issue, although with just the, uh, just the one Saturn engine it does lose a little bit more speed in the turns than would perhaps be ideal, which might cause problems, we'll have to see. Down to business as usual then, as the, um, oh my god, what am I going to call these for short? Uh, the, the V2s? Yeah, that'll do. As the V2s take on my Red Hawks in their first fight, let's, um, let's get this one going. The first fight starts. The, uh, the V2s around pretty damn quickly. It looks like the Red Hawks have already gotten their missiles away though. Now, as I mentioned, uh, the last couple of episodes, it's uh, yeah. You now need three wins to have a hope of getting on the to get, of getting on the leaderboard. Two wins will not cut it. Whichever way you will not cut it. Whichever way you slice it. Oh god! Just shut up, Smith. How are these set up? Is it um, one missile per target? Hmm. Interesting choice. But then they uh, they are only going with the uh, with the eight sidewinders and one of the oh my god two of the red hawks. Two of the red hawks are in some trouble. Is it serious damage? That's one bit of serious damage. Okay, I think hmm, one Red Hawk out. The uh, Josh Kerman closing the gap. Just a huge volley of sidewinders there. That's um, it's going to be difficult for the uh, for the V2s to dodge. But I think they're probably up to it given their uh, given their maneuverability. Josh Kerman closing the distance rapidly. Gunfire going in. Oh my God, that's not good news for Josh Kerman. Uh, I think that's just the one couple of control surfaces taken out. It's not fatal, but it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Missile coming in. Oh, that was close. Guns coming in. Loses more control surfaces. Not, not good for the, uh, not good for the Red Hawks. Especially not high on Kerman, who's had more stuff shot off, and is about to no manages to uh, to get the missiles away from him with a flare. But no, not that one. And yeah, inevitably. One of the Red Hawks is gone. Adam Kerman comes around, tries to line up a shot, nearly does so. I think it's just that the, the fact they've got so much turning power and the stability means they can actually line up, get themselves into that final shooting position very quickly. It's just... I think the Red Hawks are having difficulty coping with it. Adam Kerman seems to be just, I don't know, just out here chilling, not doing anything. Now picks a target, goes for the sidewinder, goes for guns. Oh, over the top! That's a perfect opportunity, does get some damage. Seems to again be taking his time to pick a new target, goes back to that Red Hawk. That Red Hawk gets double teamed. And will not long be for this world. It looks like one of the other... Yeah, that one's gone. Looks like the other Red Hawk is in a bit of difficulty as well. Okay. Three wins out of three needed, and in that respect, it is a solid start. Missiles and guns coming in. Ouch. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. An early missile kill helped to seal the deal in that fight, but now the uh, the V2 space is still in a test as they go up against my spike tails. By far, my best performing craft this season of fighter subscriber. Let's uh, let's get them into the air. Off we go again then. Uh, yeah, Minecraft have really been falling to some um, quite a lot of Sidewinder kills this season. I'm not sure what it is. They've been pretty good. It's it's bizarre. It does seem to sort of happen in bursts though, because like you go for ages without any any missile kills like that, and suddenly they're dropping like flies to the heat seekers. Anyway, like Lat Kerman uh, easily dodging the uh, the Amrams coming at him from the uh, from the spike tails. Second volley. 
will be coming in shortly, I'd imagine, like the Black Kerman firing off one Sidewinder. Yep, just the one for the time being. No early missile kills, but yeah, we're getting closer into the danger zone for the Sidewinders. Uh, we, yes, just less than a kilometre to one of them. Let's uh, turn on the dogfight cam again, because I kind of forgot that. Oh my god, that was some really good hits on one of the spike tails by the uh, by one of the V2s. Spike tails, yeah, very manoeuvrable. I think they will um, they will be able to match the V2s for manoeuvrability. But an early hit like that, I think by the looks of things, that spike tail is having some uh, having some difficulty manoeuvring. Let's have a ship. Ah, uh, no, it seems to be okay actually. Does manage to get a little bit of a hit into one of the uh, into one of the V2s, having a little bit of a wobble there. I think maybe, yeah, a bit of a lopsided load there with uh, all, its, all its remaining sidewinders on the one wing. It's a small light craft, so that can affect it. Really having some difficulty there. Something's exploded. One of the spike tails has gone. One of the uh, one of the V2s has gone. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. They can, uh, the V2s can only afford a maximum of two kills if they are to have any hope of going through to their finals and now it's down to just one v2 missing a control surface looks like two healthy uh, two healthy spike tails they can't afford to lose a single fight they cannot afford to lose a single fight skippy Kern manages to come round a little bit of target and decision that might prove fatal in the long run the spike tails are desperately trying to get a lock on but yeah it's a very maneuverable craft even with the uh, even with the missing control surface, they are having a lot of difficulty coming around and getting guns on targets. A heavy hit from the V2. Doesn't seem to be anything fatal. Guns come in. Loses the engine. Will make Skippy Kerman a sitting duck to be picked off at the Spike Tail's leisure. That's if the uh, if the ground doesn't get him first. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. That that is a loss for the V2s. Let's um Anyway, let's move on to the final fight. So a place in this season's finals might be out of reach due to that loss in the last round, but there's still a little bit of pride to play for as they take on this season's whipping boys, my lynxes. Let's um let's get them into the air. The final fight begins, and yeah, my lynxes really have not performed this season. I think, as I've mentioned in a, an earlier video, they are the craft I spent the most time sort of like trying to get up to standard before this season starts with, to no avail. To no avail whatsoever. They did have a good fight in was one episode. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but I think, yeah, too big a target, and yeah, if they get one of their engines blown up, they just, they're just... Who they just don't have the um, stability. They just completely spin out. Down below the five kilometer mark now though, uh, closing distance. Uh, none of them have fallen to an early missile kill, which I suppose is, is a little bit promising. <laughs> oh my God, one of them's gone. One of them is gone. That is that is a shock. Could this be only the second time this season? Oh, one of the links is gone. Maybe not. Let's say only the second time this season that um, <laughs> the Lynx actually do get a do get a win in one of the fights. It's, I think it's only one of them. I think it would only be the second time. Oh, that is depressing. That really is depressing. Turning to uh, Dogfight Cam, which is, for some reason, deciding to show Ben Kerman firing this on in entirely the wrong direction. Ben Kerman, one of the Lynx, is lining up a shot, but uh, one of his wingman manages to, um, to distract it. Get it off his tail. Oh my god, that is close. Gunfire going in from all angles. Ben Kerman coming around, managing to line up a shot. One of the other lynxes is gone. It's down to just the one lynx. GT Kerman is in a bit of trouble. Missile coming in, manages to avoid that, does not manage to avoid that. One engine taken out. And as I said, that, um, well, if he hadn't been blown up pretty promptly, would have led to a fatal spin. Okay. So we're uh, ending on a high-ish note. Let's um, let's go take a look at the scores. 
A good performance there by the uh, I'm not good at naming V2 final, but did come unstuck, as a few have this season, against my spike tails. And if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with seven kills and five survivors, the uh, the V2 sits on 12 points, just ahead of the KHI F1 Shrike by virtue of having killed more craft. Sadly, outside of the places for this season's finals. But when one door closes, a window opens, or something like that. And this result does mean that Casino Stardust and his FF215F5 Aquila will be featuring in this season's final. So congratulations to him, but commiserations to Kerbally Kerbal. My huge thanks to Kerbally Kerbal for this craft. Uh, if you want me to fight your craft, I'm afraid entries for this season are now closed and have been for quite a while. Um, but I'm still running my regular mailbag streams if you want to see your own craft in action on the channel. Um, but yeah, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, then please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, following me on Twitter. Maybe even getting involved with the Discord. Great KSP and BD Armory community on there and more besides. Um, all those links are in the, in the description as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Um, you too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal like I've been using here, uh, access to the Patreon only Discord, your name at the end of videos, some other stuff I'm trying out at the moment, uh, that kind of thing. I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.